Dan, you probably know him already. If you don't, make sure you follow his channel too. We're gonna go check out his shop today. When did you move to Florida? Um, so I made it to Florida in May. We got this like all situated February at the end of it, but we weren't able to move till May. Got it. So yeah, that's about the same time as me. I was only here like a maybe month or two before that. Yeah. Chelsea was here like in January already, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, that was the FD season and planning. In, yeah. And it was snowing the whole time I was trying to move. Disaster. But <laughs> so this is the shop. Dude, you have your trailer inside of your shop. It's pretty cool. <laughs> How sick is that? I'm excited about it. <laughs> For you guys who don't know, this might seem like a normal race shop thing, but this is like a big you made it type of scenario right here. Because it could be raining outside like it does in Florida all the time. You can load and unload. You can organize your trailer and everything all inside. It, yeah. <laughs> that, it was cool. Yeah. We're excited to be here. The shop's huge. We didn't need this much space, but we got it. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. We're thankful. This is a sick trailer, too. I remember when you went and got this trailer. Yeah. Because I had to drive all the way to the same place oh, yeah. to get the same thing to go one way with a trailer. And he had to come back with the other way. So he could have yeah, drove my you're trailer. You like messaging there. me, and you're like, hey, where are you? And you're like, fuck. Like, or... Sorry. But you're like, oh, I think you're like three hours out of the way. I'm like, I look, I'm like, yeah, I would have to backtrack. You're like, don't worry about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was funny because I was picking up a car and I was literally buying a trailer there to get the car because it was easier that way. And I needed a trailer too, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I just made it work. And he was literally like, I think two oh, hours yeah. from the car that I needed picked up. I was like, dude. I Anyways, it works yeah. like that sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Look at all of these chassis yeah, so there's a couple cars here some of them are mine some are customers or friends or whatever we can start with this car i like this car so yeah i saw you guys drive this i've also seen renee do donuts in here yes dude this is like the whole time i watched the video <laughs> you're like crazy. i was like oh, oh you would have had to be here because i was like ah so she like tried once didn't do comp like she just needed to stay in the gas i think every time but she would always lift out and I'm like, Renee, stay in it. But then there's other guys here and they're giving her their two cents each time. And we're like, I'm like, God, just like step it out and stay in it. And so she like gets it going and is literally an inch from those toolboxes. And then is just slowly working her way to like take that table out basically. <laughs> and I'm like, I like run out. Like if she would have done one more pass, that table would have just been like punted somewhere. And so I like run out, I'm like, stop. And then she stops luckily, but. And everybody's good. laughing, it was, so it was good. Yeah, but fun. it was, I was watching it like, oh yeah, okay. And I'm like, ooh, that was really close. And then I'm like, oh, oh man, God. oh no. And I see you like, <laughs> do I interrupt or no? Because yeah, like I, she's I just like, to. yeah, 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 yeah ripping. Like she would have hit. She had her burnout face on yeah. full. <laughs> so what, what's the deal with this car? This is like uh, a practice car. Yeah. So, well. It's just like an extra like low horsepower. I was the idea was to like get this one to last like ten laps on a set of tires or yeah. something. It originally was just non turbo. It has like angle kit. Let's open the hood so you guys can see that part. It has an angle kit and coilovers, seat. Ooh, and, and hood shops. It comes that way. They come that way. I know, but like they actually it's work. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Stock hood shocks that work. Um uh, so then later after Renee got, like, this car is not, I guess, I convinced Renee to let me build it if it's, like, Renee's car, but then it ends up, like, I drive it more than she does. But anyway, it's like... It's the other way for me. She, I have a car, and Chelsea just now takes ownership takes it, of it. Yeah. And I go to I go to take my car to the track, and she's like, you're not taking my car. And I'm like, what are you... <laughs> you're what like, are you, that was mine. I'm like, it's just a brand new Mustang. I'm taking it to the track to drift. It's only a drift car. She's like... That's my car now. <laughs> You're like, oh, all right. Oh, well, I, I'm not going to argue because I uh, want to see her drive yeah. and have fun, so whatever. So it started out really low horsepower, stock in a, and Renee learned how to like feel out a car, feel what it's doing in it, and then I was like, let's turbo it now. Yeah. It looks like a very modest turbo it's, setup, yeah, though. It's like, not big Really power. fast spooling manifold, yeah. like, because it's, it's just It's internal cast. gate, so Perfect. it's super quiet, but... It limited us to 300 horsepower because it'll, it'll like want a boost spike to like 12 psi, but then it can't hold it. Got so it. We just had to level it out at like 7 psi. 
That's because can you port the wastegates on these? You well, I could just get a rear housing and then put an external Got gate. It. But okay. I was like always Simple. fascinated to try it, so I was yeah. like, let's just do it. And then it, I was like thinking it would make like 380 horsepower, but then it so much back pressure it only makes. I can only get it to like sustain like a good 300. Otherwise, it like you get power and then it takes it away. Got so it. we like leveled it out so it's like so it just needs a, a little bigger of a turbo it's a big motor being i think an the A1 front too. side would work though if i just yeah. put a bigger rear what does it have like a 63 or something it's an 80 rear but oh, internally really? oh, gated small. 80 and it just doesn't and it's twin scroll yeah internally gated i think it's just too much back pressure for the like if that was on a four cylinder you probably would make 400 yeah. with it but the manifold pressure is probably yeah. twice what the it's turbo what, pressure yeah, is it's not happy, so na2j yeah stock engine so i like there's different ways you could do it i took out the motor that was in there and just set it on the floor it's in the other room and was like okay i've always wanted to do an nat this is my first nat so i used a non vvti bottom end from an na and like that has better rods so if i wanted to we could like turn it up to six seven hundred oh, and sick. it would work if you're on ethanol which just has flex fuel so we could do that but I should if I was gonna know it's the 300 horsepower, probably should have just left it as is. Right. But anyways, it's ready for more power if we wanted. Um, and cool. then just VVTI head and yeah. Sick. And then like same front steering as yeah, your so, FD cars. Yeah, that's why I picked this chassis. They're in my opinion pretty ugly, but um, it's the same you as can that. Make it okay. It's just not ugly. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Same subframe, exactly. The front end is identical. The rear end is very close. Subframe we're pointing slightly at his different. Mark Ford, yeah, Supra, we're, so <laughs> same, you know, like geometry for like same feel as a Supra. So I figured if I'm gonna drive it, sometimes it's like similar practice. <laughs> it'd just be good to do that. Um, and I had lots of spare parts that will go to this. Yeah, for sure. And I had lots of diff ratios. They share the same diff. So so this is a I great it. like economy of scale. It's a, yeah, it's super cheap to do i mean i kind of went overboard on things if you're talking about like some guy in the garage going for super cheap probably don't do as much shit as i did but like it, it was cheap in perspective to like the other cars and then has a zf trans oh it does made it yeah six it, speed or it's five a speed? five speed so it's like 320 a, um i guess i'm not a bmw guy so like but it's like 326 like I think it would have been the M3 yeah, one, right? 328 M3. Yeah, 328 M3. Sweet. Okay, 328 or M3. Nice. Yeah. That's what I run in everything. Even so, the Fox body has that. Yeah, it's worked fine. It works good. But when you want to street drive it, you have I have like a super long diff. I have a 326 in there. Right. But then I can drift like second gear perfect with this. Yeah, but the the that gearbox fifth is one to one, and it's only five speed. So like you need a long ratio, otherwise it's really short on the highway and stuff. I tried, I did a four two seven at first, oh, and dude. it was just like 5, it was at like fifty five hundred. So I'm like, okay, I'll go fifty five miles an hour and be at forty two if I'm yeah. Like, and I'm like on the slow lane, like pass me. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I gotta switch that. Has full interior. Um, mostly check it just out seats. if you want. I wanted to leave the back seats because I have a niece and nephew and I was like, that's perfect for like one of so them is nine and one's going to be six. So like they can fit in there and I can do like little skids with them. Sick. But then it, some of the, I guess the carpet's out, but I, it still, still has work. it. Yeah, that does still work. Oh my You'd God. have to. I got it. It's all good. get started if you want. It has like this little gauge here Power. to tell me like. Column tilt what everything the link is doing because it has a link oh it has a, a link okay a link fury in there fury, so then yeah. it like i don't know that's like a can a, gauge or what is yeah, that yeah okay. can gauge will tell you like everything the engine's doing but then i also the stock cluster everything works minus transmission is deleted yeah. so i don't have speedometer got it She's oh gotta right check your cell phone on a gps yeah, app yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah, for sure that's cool but the so i took like the carpet and the trunk out and i took some other i guess that's about it this carpet and then I, on this one, like the fuel tank doesn't have a return, so I had to like weld some fittings on, but I like just adapted it to make it work as simply as I could. Is it deadheaded or does it have a- No, it has a return, return and okay. I like, yeah. Sweet, that's But I had cool. to like weld it. What it's shifter is that, Samsona? That's a Samsona, it's like nice. BMW shifter, yeah. but I didn't, I just have a connection with Samsona's cause I was like, you know, could buy wholesale and then sell their stuff. So I was like, that'll 
I don't know. There's a couple shifters I could have bought. I yeah, just that's went good with that though. One, though. But it does has a lockout though. It that's does what's have nice. a lockout, and you need that for these yeah. gearboxes because they go to it fifth. Always, really. it's like, oh, you're sh- up shifting. Well, let's fifth. go to fifth and every like, time. No. You're like, no. They're like, oh, we want you to get a good fuel economy while you're drifting. <laughs> yeah, every time it's fifth. When I was first learning, I was like, God, <laughs> transmission, stock radiator. Yeah, well, works why great. Not? Like, Clutch leave fan? it alone. Yeah, leave Amazing. it alone. Thank you. Can we get? For my people in the back, let's say that one more yes. time. <laughs> Stock clutch fan, yes, it it's big, looks outdated, Sounds but it's like gonna, a truck going it's gonna down the road. outwork all your stupid electric fans Always. ever, like that are on the market. Clutch all fan the is the key. Yep. All right, so this is your demo car, which is like a copy car. of your FD car. In a sense, it's like the exterior is a copy, so that you could like sell it to your partners and say, hey, I'll show up with an appearance, but then- Or so he can justify having it. Sure, whatever. I like the way it looks. Uh, I do get to run the big wing on this one because there's no rules. Uh, this one gets hand-me-down parts. Some of the parts are new, but it doesn't get as nice of stuff and it, it's way like- How do you afford headlights all the time? Okay, they're expensive. What's the trick with that? Do you just buy every set you can find? I know they're new. Like if really, you can buy them new? I'm literally scared that I'll like log into my Toyota account to like, and they'll be like, "We actually discontinued those last week," and I'll be like, "No!" Well, if you keep buying them, they won't discontinue them. I have enough (laughs) that if they do discontinue, I can still like drift, you know, however many more years, and be like, "We're good." He never thought about just having somebody make replicas of them. He's like, no, I gotta no, have the so OEM good, ones. Though. The OEM are so good. I'm a weird person with weird details. No, I'm with <laughs> it. I'm with it. I get it. The yeah. o- like, I think the OEM headlights and taillights thing is like definitely the key. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to stick with that if I can. So way bigger turbo. Oh, if you're comparing to yeah. this Lexus, yeah. So this one, that's a 62 millimeter front side and a 65 uh, rear. Got it. So like a 60, 65. Yeah. So this one potentially if could make 700. Its highest boost setting is like 650, but it's super back pressure even at that. So I kind of run it at like 565. I think is where I just leave it on that boost setting and run it. Got it. And with twin gates too, it really helps the exhaust pressure too. I've realized like I always ran single gates for a long time because oh, I have a little higher. Yeah, I would run so much boost that. It didn't matter. I only needed a single oh, small yeah, gate. Just open, yeah. But the exhaust pressure was like so much higher, and like we actually went to twin forty fours from that. I picked up sixty wheel, same <laughs> boost. That's how oh, much exhaust back pressure it was. Because you know how Dylan runs one sixty mil gate, and I'm always like, dude, that's like a big gate. Because like cracking that open, you it's like you can't control the it. The response as like, isn't as good. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 244 is the way, but yeah, just interesting, like, you, we keep talking about the back pressure, it's definitely a thing, because, like, to pick up 60 wheel, which was, like, almost 10% That's a off lot. doing that, so even when we built the Fox body, the new turbo setup on that, it has twin 44s on a 400 like horsepower perfect. motor, because there's no turbo manifold, but the, then it pulls right to the head, everything. right, like, so I, I yeah. let, once you're in the power, you're letting all this free exhaust gas get out and lower the pressure. So that's kind of neat. I try to, like, my max is like one and a half to one that I'll be like, yeah, it'll probably stick together. Yeah, that's fine. Like, yeah. But if you get to like two times, like, boost pressure to back pressure, then you're like, probably gonna break some shit or just melt something. All down. my FD cars were two to one. Two to one? Always. It, but it probably had like better, like, the torque was in, nuts. like, torque and response, Snappy. maybe when it's in its like happy spot. Yeah, I know it's not good for the turbo, so, but it's yeah. probably well. My gate on the dyno, like, at 6800, would just shut again because it'd be trying to make the boost and it would just shut back. It yeah, would just force it shut because you know, it, oh, it, then it would you had go to, to run like crazy spring pressure. Yep, oh, fuck. 26 pounds of spring gate pressure, but then it's like violent feeling when it's like that's like that's so. Fine. If like you had drove a car that had like a ten pound spring, and you're like, oh, it comes in, and you feel the boost when it comes in. But then if you put the like heavy spring when it kicks, yeah, it's just wham. Yeah, yeah. it's like. It's well, more we used fun. to run CO two to the gate too so to it's keep like it 100% shut control, until it hit the map sensor, and then and then it would oh, turn the gate off, the CO two off. So it would literally the gate would sound like a hammer hitting instead of being like rap. It'd be like. Bop! Like nuts. Ooh, that would be kind of cool, but then it's more systems to. Act, it, I don't know. Yeah, we got rid of that after Too a while. Much shit but anyways, to back to this. Okay. Uh, after we just bullshit <laughs> for twenty minutes, but 
Yeah, so this is, what is this? This is like a, like a. So that's just an oil cooler. Okay. Um, and it has, I, oh, I, I let the water like hit the engine first and cool the engine down in case like you hot lap or whatever. Then it comes in after it cooled the engine to the, the cooler, then back to the Got it, so it's radio. like an exchanger then. Yeah, heat exchanger. So your oil lines are here and this yeah. is the coolant lines. And then it has and what like is the, this, like a they, breather? It just wants like a bleed off okay. thing. And I, it's a CNR part and they just said you need to run something back to like your swirl pod or wherever you can get it back in the system. Yeah, to so just evacuate the air pocket in there. If there is, yeah. That's really cool. And those work well? Yeah, so like that's I had, different than what most okay, people. Okay, originally this one is from 2007. I had used to have a street Supra that was way overkill, and I was wishing I was drifting, but I was scared to commit to drifting. So I was like, just building this really cool street. Did you Supra. have an FC back then too? I did. Well, that was just to like, let's go drifting. Finally, about the FC, um, I had to sell an FD with a 2J in it to like buy the FC and all my parts to LS swap the FC, but then I drove the FC with a rotary until I was like, ah, oh, it's like really weak and I'll learn like momentum, like control. So I did that at first. Anyways, sidetrack, that came out of that car and um, I sampled it on this car first and it worked good. And I was like, okay, now let's do that on the FD car. That's and cool you get to do that with like this a, car. It has like a bigger one. Yeah, so it does let you like try shit and yeah. not like fully commit to it on your car that you like if it leaves you stranded you'd be pissed when you're like the other side of the country well then i feel and i'm correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like this car is probably half the cost yeah. to run than the, car, oh, the pro car yes so right. this one i can it's i tuned it on ignite but i instantly after that just put pumpy 85 okay. super cheap runs fine on that never had an issue this is a stock long block that I've never opened up and it's been in this car for a while. Um, a guy that worked for me named Jeff was driving this car with stock turbos on this motor. He drove it for two years, not as much as I probably drove it, but then he like quit and I was like, you can't have the Supra. He's like, I know. And so <laughs> I like started upgrading it then, you know, Sick. and like Their that, tanks that and motor numbers. just keeps working. So, That's really cool. Yeah. So explain to people why you run the stock manifold on this car. Okay, so on a 2J, you might think it would be cool to get this big manifold. That's just for looks. So if you have to do it for looks, I'm with you guys. I've done it on my pro car. Get it. But if you want it to work the best, leave that manifold on there. Unless you're getting like 1,200 horsepower up. But Damn, it, 1,200. It will make 1,200. I always tell people like... It will do it though. No, and then change it. So leave it. No, like eleven hundred, you'd have better torque, better response, better everything. Yep. Somewhere in the eleven hundred and up, twelve hundred, it's gonna like not be able to take that much turbo air that you're forcing in there. But you guys, like, you don't need to switch your manifold. Just don't do it. Dude, every time I get <laughs> in one of these cars and drive it, or a Jay Z swapped car. And it has some big intake plan on it, like, and I'm like, okay, cool. Surely it has like a 76 mil or 80 mil turbo, and I'm like, it doesn't. You did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, just leave it. Yeah. Technically, like modern cars could make 800 horsepower through like a 70 millimeter, throttle 60 body. something yeah. throttle body. It's just gonna feel better for like the driver feel. Well, know? and the simplicity of this. Yeah. Like. Granted, some of the other manifolds might be easier to work around. Maybe. But, this like, this just hard. works so yeah, good. Yeah, super good. I love this. Sweet. So, same suspension as this. Like, same, coilovers, yeah. everything? Or that has singles? This, I, yeah, this has, does have single adjustable. Um, and these are two-way? I two have way? three ways. These are three-way. Okay. That car's three-way. Renee's street car's three-way. But I have oh, three-ways that could go in this that are, like, you know, you get new ones. If you race right. a lot, you'll get new ones. Um, I don't think it needs it. Nah. You maybe in like a pro, you don't, we almost could probably have single way adjustable fronts on a pro car and just fuck with the back. Yeah. I think, cause like you don't change the front too often. <clears throat> yeah, we have two ways on the front of ours and three ways in the rear of ours. That's like ideal. I just, if they're gonna yeah. give me three ways, I'm no, gonna take sure. the three ways. No, for sure. We run the two way in the front. We would run a one way, but we run such a big front sway bar that we need the like oh, rebound okay. control to the, be able to keep the car like planted because it's so much spring rate. But otherwise, like I would just run singles on that. Yeah, people yeah. overbuild some stuff. Oh, you have a brake booster in this car still. So I have a brake boost. Oh, I would have never thought so. This is an electric. Um, 
vacuum pump. So stock brake booster. Once I'm in boost and I want a left foot brake because I'm chasing Chelsea and he's like really fast and consistent. I'm like, but I want to like tuck in or whatever. Then you're thankfully so you, you have, have that electric in boost. In boost, I have brake like this full still brake vacuum, booster. yeah, and it just feels normal. That's it actually really feels cool. like softer, and you have to be like, oh yeah, the brake booster's on or the thing's on. Dang. And it's um, so I have a, a toggle map switch. Sensor. Yeah, it's activated by this little stupid sensor. It's not like a high tech map sensor. Dude, it's that's so an cool. An option you can get on Summit, and it's like pretty easy to wire to just like a normal relay. Do you like having a booster? I, mm, like, no, 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 I prefer like no okay. booster. Like if you get your brakes perfectly where right. they still feel soft, like my pro car, which took me a lot of changing master cylinders and brake, brake pads, pads until and... you're like, this is okay. Um, See, I like this, a booster a lot. Yeah, it's, this is super easy to drive. But it's not maybe as like precise as like, I don't know, that car I have more hours in maybe, right. I don't know. But when I drive this one with a brake booster, it's super fucking perfect drive this one and it doesn't have that and you're like oh yeah what the hell and it's rock hard if you're in, in boost, boost yeah. yeah yeah that's funny because i really prefer a booster because i feel like i have more precision with a booster because you have to push so hard typically on True. a non-booster car True. that you almost lose the feel of it like you learn over time but like my my personal cars have always had boosters and then my FD car doesn't. So when I built the Fox body, I didn't use one. But the car is like, like 2,200 pounds. Oh, so the brakes just work so good anyway. And it's not too stiff. It's not. It's That's pretty, like it's pretty soft. The throw is good too. Like like you have, like from where the brakes start yeah. to where they're locked up is probably two inches. That's, yeah, so it that's feels how good. that car is. But I had the, that car, the first two years I was driving an FD, like literally didn't have like brakes that work. I had to push so hard. I would literally, if I got in a panic situation, both feet are on the brake oh pedal. Oh my god! And I had like in car videos, and Renee's like, "You gotta fix that." And when like, you're in your first few years of FD too, there's a lot of panic moments. Yeah, there's so much scrambling to just make it to that event, and then you're right. like, "I did it!" And then you're like, "Oh yeah, back to work again." I, I don't know, like. Yeah, it's it's, crazy. it's easy to drive now, but it was not back then. I appreciate your charge piping and stuff too. It's like nice, super simple, short, very serviceable. Everything comes off nice, like the build quality, even though this is like a demo car. And it probably has a lot of the stuff trickling down from the FD car. It's still like super well put together. I actually stole this idea from you too. It's just uh, my, easy though, right? My physical oil cooler is there on oh, my Fox no. body. So that's just power steering cooler, right. but I do I that. saw the line size, yeah. so I assumed it was power steering, but I saw how you had that mounted, and I'm like, I wonder if that'll work. It does. It I'm works sure really it good. I'm sure it isn't getting the best airflow, but it's dissipating heat. It's doing shit. But like when you're drifting, oh, true. it just, all the air, you're getting more there than the about front. That. So, yeah. I thought you thought of that, no, and that's I why was I like, did I ran out of places to put it, and I don't want to like mount it flat. Like, well, this where it way, can too, get like short lines, yeah. it's never going to get hit there. Like, it's way out of the way. It's also like really easy to like the way it mounted. This, I have mine mounted the same, pretty much the same way. My oil temps never go over 220, so it's obviously yeah. working. It probably works fine. Then, yeah. Sick. I never had a temp sensor on my power steering fluid, and I would be like, I hope this is like within spec for the pump. Do you have it now, or no? I do have it now, but I like it never gets. It doesn't even get that hot though. Yeah. It doesn't get as hot as you think it does. But like when I first put it there, I was so worried about. It doesn't have to get super hot either to have problems. I guess because right. it doesn't really ever cool. Like the cooler slows down how fast it gets hot. But then but it doesn't just really like, like lock, lock, lock. Right. We're close to it when, every time we're actually drifting. And the big bar on our car puts a lot of load on everything, and it's pretty wild. So, so what's the inside of this car? Yeah. Like this is Check like full out. race car, right? This one is close to full race car, but oh yeah, full firewall in the back. So this would pass FD Tech for, I guess, oh, Pro nice. or Pro Spec. So yeah, it has a Bluetooth radio. This one, unfortunately, guys, the kill switch is not working so i can't power it up but um it has a motec pdm in it but it has a pro efi ecu and this is just the like display gauges over there for like my can data for like temps and pressures what gearbox is this this is an andrews four speed oh sick so this is like perfect car just reliable as shit like you can just hot lap this car that's cool 
And those gearboxes, as you know, are probably the best four speed. Oh yeah, I think like, they're like money. Yeah, it's so it, good. It's like shifts for you. You start to move. It's like, this is a hard top, too, dude. This is a hard top. So do you guys want to know the story on this car? Four hundred dollar Supra right here. Dude, <laughs> so, what? So this is like the once in a lifetime deal. Um, we four hundred dollar like, hard have, top. I have a buddy that like. He does super stuff. He's a really cool guy, but he like kind of will do some like shady. It d don't take it the wrong way, Aaron. But his name's Aaron. <laughs> Sometimes he'll do stuff that you're like, how did you how, do what, that? How did you get yourself into that position or whatever? But so he had this guy that I guess he sounds like an opportunist. Yeah, he's a smart guy. He's like a go getter and like an entrepreneur, and he does good for himself with what he has at his fingertips. He was gonna cut the roof off this and ship it. Yeah. And the speed limit out there is like 40. <laughs> this dude is going least like 90 or 100. <laughs> it's like, oh, racetrack straight away. It's like, okay. They were just he, showing off to you, dude. I guess. I don't know who they are. But so he was gonna cut the roof off and ship it to Texas. And this was back when I was in California. This was like 2015, maybe. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What's up with the chassis? Oh, it's like horrible rear end situation. Cause like the frame rails on this car were just effed up like if you guys look at um the apron over here under the hood strut show these guys super wrinkled right there oh yeah so it it was kind of like not gonna come back to life very well so if you measure the yeah, wheelbase good, on this side it's three quarters of an inch shorter than this side mm. so you're never gonna have like proper perfect alignment settings on this car you can cheat some of it with like suspension stuff but adjustable arms but it's never going to be perfect um you can barely tell when you're drifting you you like kind of can't tell yeah. unless you do like high speed like i had to use this it could be better yeah <laughs> on some turns oh true like if you're setting it yeah <laughs> it could be better so whatever 400 bucks we went to the frame machine we you know, like brought it back to life you could say and part bucks. of that was this guy had his VIN stolen, so it can uh, never get registered. So they it. stole the VIN because it was a clean, like somehow never been reported or whatever. Got it. And he's like, "You, you like up for that?" I'm like, oh, "Of course I'm up yeah, for that." Yeah, that's it's a race car. Yeah, like, it doesn't matter. Care. Can like, like you're like write me a bill of sale so I have something and we're yeah. good. That's cool. And I know where the VIN is and I know who owns that Supra and like that's just how this, <laughs> this guy's life is. So it's fine. That's funny. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, what diff's in this? This one has a stock um, non-turbo super diff, which would be the same diff as that. Okay. And, and they're so pretty strong. They're strong enough. Like, I guess if you were trying to do FD in it, I don't know that it would last, like, in that situation, but I don't have as much grip in this, and so I've, I've broken two. What's the size of that diff? So that's an 8-inch, so it's okay. it's a 200 millimeter. 200. So and the other one's 230, 220. 220. So it's like an 8.8 8 or whatever, okay, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. like, you... And the other diff, the, the turbo diff in a Supra is just, you don't want to buy, but like you could buy a Winters for the same price oh, at yeah, this yeah, point yeah. Now, well, so forget it. Remember, uh, that's what they ran in Osbo's car and Turek's car. No, they were running this. Oh, this. And I'm, but they were buying a brand new one. All or the time. getting a brand new one. So I think it can work, but I just, I broke two of them. And it, it wasn't the welds broke, it was like you just rip all the gears Got off the it. ring gear. So I feel like if you have like a proper clutch control or something yeah. like so that you're not beating but the I was just, out of it. But bang! Yeah, and I'm like, I've seen it drive. sounds like it. I um, saw you blow the guts out of a quick change the other day. That was, <laughs> yes, that happened. But that had to be like assembly error. That's what Winter said. They're like, send it back. We'll give you a new one. Dude, I, that I've never seen that. So like neither. for that to happen, like that's only the first time i've ever seen one of those break yeah it's fine they it said happens. something like fell out and they're like it had of course to be, it fell apart from the inside and then ate itself alive they're like that would never happen they're like yeah you'd break either like your outputs or your like lower shaft always and i'm like well that didn't happen those are both good so they're like send it back and the lower shaft in those will bend like will twist, a, twist. a full 180 degrees before they're like yeah okay you should replace that but like it's a one it's inch like diameter in shaft like yeah. made out of like 300 m or whatever, or whatever it, is. it is and it will twist 180 and it's still good at that point 
Which is yeah, insane. That's not what happened. And this was a new diff. Like, don't think bad on winter. No, no, I'm so saying it's good. Luke thing. That's yeah. just how it happens. Yeah. Okay, this is not your car. This is not right? my car. It's a cool car. We should look at it. If you feel like this it. This is a lot of Kevlar on this. So, this is a Simon Olsen car. Um, yeah, this is sick. Again, with a good, like, intercooler build. Did you build any I of this had car? Nothing okay. to do with this car. Look at um, that power steering cooler in the corner right there. This is a really cool build. Um, race supply um, in Norway Damn. built everything. And He's then, got the Elgato manifold though, the El dude. Gato. The cat. <laughs> dude, this is like a funny story. I met this guy, like, I was like 16 and I was at Moroso drag strip. Yeah. And I was in my F FCRX7 and I had a nitrous backfire and blew the throttle body right off the intake manifold. And the guy came over and he's like, I have a manifold for you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and this back then he was like building them in his garage like all the time. And I like went over and he's like, yeah, like I'll hook you up. And he gave me a good deal on it. And I put it on his, and like, I didn't hear from him or anything for like a long time. And then I'm in like Philly at a drag racing event and I'm looking around and every single car has an Elgato manifold yeah, Elgato. on it. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like everybody's, this dude, like just randomly like met hooked, the one Yeah, time. like, and it was, you know, like, so now to see that is funny to see. Like he makes good stuff though. Yeah, like he, I guess he's been around a long time though. I didn't know much of the history, now I do. Yeah. The Elgato. Elgato. So this car has a lot of expensive parts, I nice build. Um, the reason it's, well. I like the sway bar set up too. Dang. He is having us build, so he had two motor issues last year. Um, and so we're building two fresh engines for him. So that will be Stunting is a habit, bud. Thing. Individual EGTs. I have it now. I did not used to, but when you're getting deeper into nitro stuff, that helps. <laughs> so we had those too, but now we have individual O2s. I know, I saw that. Like, Eight O2 crazy. sensors. This worked fine though, but once we got over spraying like over 300 horsepower with the nitrous, like you can't with it's ITBs, what happens is like yeah, it doesn't pull. Like we'll have up to 20 percent trimming between cylinders. Oh, and it's not like it's the data doesn't like transfer it's across to make any sense or something? Yeah, oh, it's, it's not, just not fast, fast enough. enough? So it's delayed and it's already smoked by the time the Not smoked, but like duration. Issues, like yeah. you can't even really see the problem. Cause like, you know these, like you'll see the problem, but it's yeah. like a second or it's two like, delayed. So if you're always blowing through the power band, you never catch it cause you can't see when it's happening. But with the O2s, true. it's like dead nuts every so time. How, what kind of ECU can handle eight o like O2. Well, I know I'm up, M150. That's what I have too in that one, but like I'm just wondering like that might be the only ECU that could do Yeah, that, that or Bosch Motorsports. And I think that new uh, link they have coming out oh, can use a race grade like, adapter and do okay. that. Yeah. Carbon, dude. So this car, I'm not going to know all the answers, but as you can see, it's pretty cool. Right now, there's no rear subframe. Fuel pump. Um, yeah, so he... What? They really li I hate those fuel pumps, but they really like these fuel pumps and swear Cam that it's the driven best shit. fuel pump. Drag racers will always do that on 2J stuff because they need like a dash 12 feed line. There are tons right. of horsepower, but I just feel like Method in drifting, like stuff. it would like, like there would be surges yeah, of moments know, where it would right? not. And like, but it probably flows the volume it needs at like 2,000 RPM. Yeah, so it's probably way too much yeah, fuel. Yeah, it's probably just bypassing it. It's going back the, most of the time. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I guess I'm looking at this like this is crazy, but this is how my EcoBoost is. Tons of cars. The have DI that pump are, runs off that. Cause that one has to ramp it up for direct injection or what? Yeah. Yeah. And it's ran off the back of the cam. Same thing. Same thing. But it runs yeah. 3,000 psi. <laughs> <laughs> 4,000 peak. Some like BMW Vanos oil it's crazy, pressure thing. It's crazy. It's huh? crazy. How they did that on like those V10s they had. Yep. So there's oh, no rear change. subframe in the car because it ripped in half and it's like they bought it from HGK and I don't think it was like HGK had like done a FD test on it maybe. So uh, it's not like it didn't have enough bracing and it just literally severed itself. They cut most of it out to make it fit. You right, know how you yeah, do on yeah. a BMW one. And then they didn't like use tubular like reinforcement stuff. So it's good detail right here. I like this. <laughs> the glitter. Yeah, it's just. Is um, that Renee or you? No, I did that. That's cool. I like it. that. 
Um, I did that to match. This used to be on the other car, and it matched the like the plastic covers on the motor. Okay. But then, I like just like a little touch. Yeah, it has like the blue flake in there. This car is very cool. I don't know all the stuff, but hopefully that shows the people watching yeah, what cool. they want to see. Pretty serious FD car. Oh, he uses the same oil cooler. Right? Oh yeah. That's a little bit different than yours. That's the bigger, oh, it side that's, feeds. Well, that's the newer, bigger. That's what's in this car. Okay, too. got it. So that. Oh, one but there's no bleeder on this one. Wait, what? There's no little bleeder. Oh, there is. He fucking didn't. Use oh, he didn't use it. That's oh, where all his problems God. came from. <laughs> the subframe. That's what it was. Yep, right? That's that fault right that, there. Yeah. <laughs> if life were only that simple. I wish. If life were only that simple. All right, guys. It's over. Hood shocks. Oh, it does have it. Last Dude, detail on this car. That's it's cool. over. It's the stupid little things. Like, when you're like, oh my god, we gotta fix this. We have only <laughs> two minutes. So much that though. little thing helps so much. And it helps. It's the worst case when they're blown, because then you're like, and then and it comes down, and you're like, somebody get pliers or something and <laughs> clamp, clamp them. <laughs> I have a tool that actually just tightens into there and holds it up. Uh, like, All right, this the, is the bad man pajama right here. This is my favorite car, guys. So hopefully I didn't do anything. Oh, dang. Have you always had all this titanium? Um, Two years now. Okay. Dang. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Stunting is all, a habit, this dude. This one has all my money in it. <laughs> So I always ran tie charge pipes because I, I'm like, a, I don't know if the BMX joke again, I'm a weight weenie. Yeah. Like everything I build has to be like as light as possible. Uh, yeah. But like aluminum charge pipes. I think they're similar weight, aren't they? This, or, well, this is like weighed. aluminum. Okay. But the strength of steel. Okay. Right? So like this will take way more abuse than aluminum. And yeah. it's And it's lighter. And it looks cool. I don't cool. think I'm putting it through the abuse did you weld this i did not mark okay. welded this okay. um and i think we should have gone hotter this was his first i was like here we're we're gonna do this on the some car this year really good just some and of it he's has like i've never welded titanium i'm like you'll figure it out yeah send it and then <laughs> i mean it doesn't leak but i've i've seen a couple people look at it and they're like you should have put more heat in it yeah like, you're probably right um yeah it works though so if like you pointed to this, let's say there's people watching they're like, what the fuck is that? Okay, so it's called a clamshell quick disconnect. There's other companies like Wiggins. Yeah. There's like 10 companies probably now. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, each, I can't take that one off. We could take this one off. Each one of them is like double O-ring, so it will hold like, I think, 300 PSI or yeah. some crazy number that we would never need on any of these And the hoses. clamp just makes it so it can't lift, basically. Yeah, but it's like, once it is on there, it's like you can still move it a little bit, which I thought was cool. And if you're in a hurry, it helps, because you don't need a wrench. Big intake manifold, but, must have 1,200 horsepower. But they're expensive. No, it just looks good. <laughs> And I have. It's probably close. What's it make? Like a thousand fifty? It, no, it makes like it will make a thousand and like ten if you crank it up. But I, that's dangerous. What does ten mean? Thousand and ten. Oh, or a thousand ten. and ten. Yeah. I thought you said on ten, like you had no, a number. No, a thousand and ten was the max that I made on the dyno right before this season started. What kind of dyno was it? It was a dyno pack hub oh, dyno. That's a, that's a strong thousand then. But then we like we turn it down to like our highest settings 950, and I literally only use that like I didn't use it all this year. So really? I use number two setting, which is 900. So I just kind of run a 900 all and year. And what's like the torque number on that? It's like 820 torque. Okay, I think, so it's strong torque. torque. It's good, but it's never. I can never. I try everything I can to like make it like a V8 like power band and yeah. torque. I can't get How it. How much nitrous are you using down low? I. I use 75 shot. This has two stage nitrous, and I didn't ever set up the second one. I didn't set it up. So, technically, what I have is a backup system. If this solenoid wants to take a shit, then we're like, switch to the other one. Got it. But. So, you, you can't make more torque because you need another no. 50 horsepower worth of nitrous. I, I could run a whole like second stage like through the power band, which is why we set it up that yeah. way. And the tuner's like, I don't want to do that yet until you say you need it and then we the season started and like I would want it but we just haven't got there yet got that it. might happen next year um, so we just 75 shot to wake the turbo and up how and how high do you rev it 
uh, seventy eight fifty. Okay. Is like the I have a high re like a higher RPM like button if like you're really close to the wheel Gearing speed you want and yeah. you're like I can't quite get it. It goes two fifty more. I've always wanted that nervous. for my lead runs. I'm just nervous to hit that. I used it really? at St. Louis. But like yeah, I thought these were it. like good to just beat at eighty five all day. Not a stroker. Oh, this, this is, is a three four. Yeah. So okay. you might you get so much piston speed and everything like you might. The you rod ratio might as it up as if you tried to do the whole season with an 8500. Got line, it. You'll probably blow something up. Yeah, I've always wanted like a way to have like a lead. Like, so we I don't run sequential in my car. I've always ran four speeds. You couldn't do the higher RPM, dude. Or it's you're done. Really high? Like our motor is so done. Okay. Like at nine to 8900. That's so high. It's high, but like we you have to be above 55 or. Oh, that's where the power is eight. Like it won't eight. climb in RPM in drift unless you're above 5500. It just sits like it will just be like, it, like it won't bog, but it'll be like boom, and you have to like Corolla shimmy yeah. and it's like boom, and then okay. climb. So it's got like no, like that's what I mean. So like this power band's probably from. 4,000 to 8,000 basically. Like, yeah. So it's the same power band as I like have. Four grand of yeah, power band. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So like I've always been like, it would be sick to have, like if for my car, I just have to do like a sequential with a fifth gear that's just like six miles an hour different. That would be perfect. So in the lead, I could have a little more gear to smooth it out and make it yeah. look sweet. But then like I couldn't run that in a chase because you'd get bogged and I'd fall below my 5,500. True. So like that's why I always like turbo cars because you're like oh a turbo car is so much like it is different so much better, it's better I don't better. didn't know if I should say that no it's better it is, you make more like, torque than me too you like literally just blast like you you'll be like way too much grip because whatever you're not in boots and all of a sudden you're like double our horsepower if not triple yeah our, but like boom if you're always in that <laughs> you range are, you it doesn't matter yeah, you can and when it's not it of it. like what do you do when it's not in the range clutch kick. So you wow. know it's coming yeah. when you do it. Yeah. Like, you just learn. But, like, yeah, so, like, our car makes 800 foot-pounds. It makes, like, a, almost 1,100 horsepower, but only 800 foot-pounds because we can't make any more power, to, like, down low. So, like, this actually makes more torque and probably a little bit bigger of a power band. And we only make more because we spray nitrous all the way to the top, you know? I so, could do that, but I feel like I'll... I'll probably pop something. It's free air, dude. I don't know the <laughs> outcome yet, so I wanted to, like, test it maybe before I just go dive into it yeah. when I'm in a race, blow something up, you know? True. So you also have the EGT run. Uh, so I did that. the EGTs when I did MoTeC, and, like, it's helpful, maybe not for me, but for, like, the tuner, you know? The thermostat here? There was. Okay. Um, there's not anymore. I used to run a thermostat thinking it might be whatever, but I just let the fans in the... Yeah, control like, it. So now... Those those hard water pipes that you're looking at have been in there since let's say 2018. So at that point, did not have Motec. It also didn't have a pulse width um, f fan. Uh, fan and water pump. Okay. So now I could what like water pump is in there? it's a BMW like 335 or okay. like that same one that's in like 10 BMWs. Yep. So I could like ramp it up. Um, I, I let the car warm up with the pump being like 50%, and then yeah. once it sees temp like 160 Fahrenheit, then it's like, okay, now I'll go full blast. Got it. And then we try and keep the car at like 185-ish. Got it. And then <clears throat> all the same steering as the other two cars. Yeah. This one has those, so like it has the KRC power steering. This one has like the pressure relief valve okay, and cool. like a filter inside here. Yeah. So, That'll that makes a difference. Just live longer and like it's like my safety, so I don't get up. Uh, like when the pump fails, if you're in, you know, if you're in a corner, it's Done. gonna take you off Done. the track that like Done. to the outside, and you're like, well, I'm, I'll control it. You're not controlling. Not it. at all. It's just like not stronger than you are times ten. To everybody watching who's like, I drive a car without power steering. Sure, you do, but also we have twice the amount of angle and a tire that's so sticky that like it's crazy. So imagine. Yeah every turn you do turning the wheel twice as much or maybe two and a half times as much and a super sticky tire on the front it, would, it just like, doesn't work like yeah. it like i've been i've lost like a belt and been like we don't have five minutes you and, I, and i'm like i'm just gonna go try you can get one corner but when you transition or if there's like a bump you'll feel it's it like just you, rips you the wheel it. out of your It'll hand like break your wrist. Yeah, yeah exactly i made it work before but it's 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 a nightmare 
And then you have, do you have front bar on the other two cars? No. Or just this car? This car has it, but it's never, I haven't connected this bar in two years. It's I was never looking at the made. clamp, because I hit you up about this. It works, it works great, but it does, I don't like the way the car feels with the front bar. Uh -huh. Like it's so, so quick to transition that I'm, I have to be like very delicate on the steering. Interesting. So I don't, I love wide fab for the fact that they made a kit for my car that I like. I, I like Supras is how I should have started that. And I need I angle I feel like kits. this is the best kit they've ever made. Maybe it had a numb feeling of like, like the middle, the whole middle. Like let's say you're at like 90 degrees or let's say 70 degrees Still to 100. That? You have great feeling and the beginning range you have great feeling, but there's like a window from like 45 degrees of angle to 70 that if you're on a high speed track, which all of our tracks are in FD, it's numb and you're like, where am mm. I? Um, so I had to add every bit of camber that I can yeah, get I out of the say, car. Yeah, it sounds like not enough camber. Every bit of like caster that I can get out of the car, which they didn't, they don't give you that info though. They tell you to set it up with like no caster and no camber. Right. So, and yeah. And they didn't ever make a V2 for this car. Oh, okay. So, Wait, so this is not the same as the IS kit then? No. Okay, so I was thinking the IS kit. I drove, I'm not a Wise Fab fan. I know. I never really have been. But I've been driving some of their newer stuff, and it's definitely a lot better. Like, the, the theory that they have involved in it is a little bit better than I think in the beginning when yeah. they started. I really like the IS kit. It was one of the best IS kits I've ever driven. But... There's not a lot of IS steering kits. Like you're looking like Heyman yeah. or like um, that company that makes knuckle adapters. Um, that guy in Colorado, I forgot his name. Yeah, there's not a lot yeah. to compare it to. But like I have driven, I, I drove the IS kit figs and I was and like, man. oh, figs, yeah. yeah. And I was like, damn, that drives really good. So I thought this was the same, so it's not the same. The IS is different. It's diff Well, this has a dual wishbone. The IS has like that, the, oh, the thing that like thing. a Z has or whatever. Yeah, yeah. you're right, you're right. But, um, this is proper race car here. But double A arm. I feel like they need a V2, so I did. So I extend like the tie rod. I weld on like another nut there, okay. so I have like ten more millimeters because I ran out of tie rod basically. Because you lengthen the arm for the camber. And stuff. Yeah, and then this piece, I cut it and I like make it go further in, so my shock is now further in that way, okay. which changes the motion. Um, motion ratio. Ratio, and so then I went up like 2K in spring rate. What do you run for spring rate in the front? 24. Okay. And it's way, so I used to run like, I just had like people giving me inputs that started at 18. I thought it was 24 good. is then, way too low for this car. I, well, Not I. Not to give you like I tried, a competitive edge I, here. I would go to like 36 right I off I got the bat. every increment up to 30. But, okay. I mean, Have I, you gone higher than this? I've never tried it. Okay. So at 24, I tried, I was like, Hell yeah, this is like, it does everything I ask it. I know exactly where the steering is cool. and I don't lose front end. So maybe I need to try a little So stiffer. typically on these kits, these cars, yeah. like I spec the front out to be 28 or 30. That's and you moved so it high. inboard. Yeah, so, so it like needs it needs higher. Yeah, I know. So I would go right to like 34. I could try it. Like twice. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. That's crazy. No, but like that's what makes them do what you want them to do. Because it did not. But and no these cars have so much front grip way too much so it doesn't hurt to stiffen the front like that. i run i run the older compound front tires so it's taking front That's grip good. away it's probably better that I, way yeah it, i like it and then i like cambered the hell out of it as much as i could so i'm at like six degrees camber Perfect. so then i have very little front grip until you start drifting then you're like oh here we go you know yeah i but, like all the detail dude it's nice you know, you, you, you probably sit in a chair and like look at it when you're doing your livery <laughs> and like decide and write notes about it. Renee does most of it. Yeah, she's, she's like, killer. What do you think? And then I'm like, I Dude. do what you're going to do. Like, I, this is a good touch. Like, this little divider here for yeah. the sweater and like the color combo, like the fading into the back is yeah. nice. She comes up with crazy and ideas it's like, every year. It's like black gloss to like blue chrome to like matte. It's like. All the layers are there. It looks really good. So this car is, you said, a thousand ten all in and nine fifty max of the track. Yeah. Um, one days. other thing on steering. So like I don't know how many companies do this, but like Toyota has like a solenoid on the rack. 
Oh, for like and, speed? Yeah, so it's intended for like a stock Supra here. You leave a parking lot and it gets stiffer so you don't like wreck, I guess, at 100 miles an hour, it's stiffer. So for me, I have a button on the Motec and I, I have it where I run, where I like it at 10% duty cycle because you just duty cycle it like an okay. injector. And it's like basically almost off, 10 or 5% is where I ran it all year. And like it makes it like a little heavy because otherwise it's just too light like, Got it. and you're just like you can't throw you can't like drive aggressively you have to like tiptoe on the steering wheel too much assist so i like did that that's and cool. then i did the big ass like the biggest sparko steering wheel that's i can the get trick dude 15 like, inch steering yeah, wheel it's dude. like trophy truck steering wheel but the it, resolution is nice it's better it's better in all ways it just wants to touch your lap though yeah it's big <laughs> it's big, <laughs> it's big. This car has MoTeC, like everything's MoTeC, screen, keypad, ECU. Are you running uh, MoTeC system exhaust? Yes, it's also got MoTeC system exhaust from Fast and Furious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then like... Oh my gosh, we so much We tried to like personalize it, or I did, and... What? I got a little, a, video? a little Long Beach Drift video. Oh my um, gosh. This would be like where I'm driving normally at the track. Uh, I only need to see like gear and some pressures and temperatures. So it's like coolant, oil pressure, oil temp. That's all I care about. And then um, over here, there's so, like we ran out of features on this. So we had that like this, you hear that click that will now allow me to go into reverse because it's an electric solenoid on the Sedev transmission. And oh, then okay. this is a high idle button. Um, when I get to the line, I'm, I'm in chase. I'll put that on. I'll keep that. Uh, I think it's 3100 it'll keep like your idle is now 3100 so like you don't have to think about like clutch kicking or slipping anything right. it's kind of there yeah. or like both feet are over on the other pedals momentarily like clutch in and foot brake you're gonna come back to 3200 at minimum you know what's the little guy on the uh, bottom there this thing yeah that's for the chill out system so okay. That should turn that on. Oh, that's the air, the, that's the like AC the AC one. for your body, yeah. Um, this is like the, uh, what, what's some cool things else? Oh, power steering that I can adjust how like stiff it'll feel right there. So I have like 10%, 20 and then 5%. And then this is my high rev button. So if I hit that, it will take my rev limiter from 78.50 to like 80.50, I guess, like 200 more, may, might be 8,100. And then the rest of the buttons kind of make sense if you look at what they are. This doesn't do anything. It says drink, the horn, I don't have a horn. Do. That's the high rev thing. Okay. We <laughs> um, have that same button too. We did and it just, just turns to like, the nitrous off. Oh, I wanted and, Kevin to be like, what is that? Yeah. But he didn't do it. That's because all of us did that as a joke. Uh, like uh, everyone <laughs> in the field has that. Yeah. And like mine, Mine actually does kind of work because it just turns and it's my may, off yeah. button for the nitrous. So then you would have traction. Would have more traction. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's about it. With I'm sure you guys are gonna ask questions at Chelsea. Hopefully you can answer them. Um, this too. This car like is the same car that I did Pro Two in 2015, and I just take it apart and add things to it every year because like then it can keep me interested in the same car, I guess you could say. Yeah, it keeps it a little bit more cost effective. Without too. building another one. And you know you're gonna just fuck up the next one. Like, you're just gonna dent it all up. So like, why waste another car, you know? Yep. Should I just... Yeah, you can kill good. it. <laughs> and then this car's rear rad, that car's rear rad. They're both the, the Supras are rear rad, yeah. Got it. This Is one... Is this an OE wing? That is a OE shape wing, okay. but it's a replica, so you don't pay as much. Dang, big radium cell right on top of the axle. That helps, though. It does. I had changed the layout of the back here three different ways. This is the car drives the best in this form right here. Yeah, keeping the weight in between the shock towers is pretty good usually. I like these too, so the shock can go up into the cup so there. So to get once i switched to gt radial the car like would bottom out and i kept changing because it just has like a higher it had way more grip but then more sidewall so i feel like it'll like do weird stiffer like, sidewall yeah but it's like almost like probably could have used this with the next ones that i used to run but like it, it really 
was like noticeable like i was like what is going on so then um dave the guy that owns ryan hart was like oh what we can do to get more travel is take a miata top hat which is what that yeah, is redrill and it. redrill it and then he can like raise it up and we got like 20 millimeter more of stroke which is like a game changer on this car because it has pretty short arms and it doesn't have a lot of travel yeah it basically just deletes the bump stop because now the bump stop can be sitting in here yeah, and the shock so can have full travel yeah. yeah it's cool i have these in my miata the top the top hats like bc makes and it's the same top hat it's because yeah. the miata shock is like this long and, so and there's need, like you yeah, need you something nothing. yeah, yeah. You've seen like the RX-8 ones, right? Oh, no. They're like to here. That would have been They're good. like super tall, but the spring can't go in there. Uh, so, so it kind of limits you anyway. True. But it's kind of neat. And then this the big radiator. This helps so much, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the back of this car is just like any other Pro Drift car, ready to rip off like the yeah, 18 I like inches this. or whatever. So, yep. It's cool. Oh, this is fiberglass. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Do you make those? Who makes yeah, those? I make it. Oh, I had cool. to make every body panel for this car, for the the kit and this. I guess, like, the hatch you can buy from Saibon, and same okay. with the hood, but the other parts I had to make. And you run 295.40 on this. Yeah. And it has quick change. It that's would cool. be. I Yeah, it's heavy enough that I could run a 310, I guess. What's it weigh? It weighs, with me in it, like, 30... 50 ish about okay so or 305 or wh what would that be no it would just 30, be 300 would be, 300 would still. be 300 but yeah so actually no 300 is 3100 pounds okay so i'm 30 i'm 31 like 50, 50 or something okay. yeah yeah we're 3250 <laughs> Yeah, Dang. it would be so easy to, so like, heavy. it was hard to get at this light, and my ultimate, like, pro car build would be a hard top, because then you save about 80 pounds just on, like, the chassis itself, yeah. and then if I was to build another car right now, I would, like, skimp on every area with, like... You could probably save two or 300 pounds. I could get it to, like, be at weight for this tire, yeah. but... Whatever. Yeah, because this tire measure is small, it's right? It's small, yeah. But it that's good. Yeah. It's small, but it has a big sidewall. It works pretty good. He's got all the toe, dude. Trying yeah, to hook no. your car up over <laughs> here, dude. It's like five inches. What's that, dude? Naren? Yeah. Oh That's how his and car his is. Car's like, his car's like towed in like car. that, and it has like three degrees of positive. I'm like, there's no way it squats that I'm much. literally like, at 30 degrees of angle, your wheel is straight. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. driving straight. <laughs> uh, all right, what's the deal with this white car? This is Renee's daily, but okay. she's kind of retired it since we moved to Florida, and there's more weather here. Dude, this is like all it's no yeah roll come fenders. back over here and look inside this one it's stock in a auto but it's like clean and then it has like cool steering wheel she's got way cooler cars than you the hilux and this i know this is it's because we ruin it but i like oh it's got big boy brakes i told too. her yeah the only mods this car has are big brakes the raised wheels and then three-way coil over so it rides nice it's pretty cool, but oh, it's original, automatic dude. in it, yeah, and like it's dirty right now. Let, let's look under the hood. You guys can see how serious she is. Oh, man. <laughs> I want to see this. It's awesome. Dan, Dan's like, you can buy that because it gets me another set of headlights if I need them. <laughs> look at oh, that. my gosh. Dirty I don't even stuff. think I've ever seen one. So I don't even know the math looked like this. 100% stuff. Is this stuff. the same math as like the old 7M cars? Probably. <laughs> Oh. That's cool. It's some so good. these it's didn't come with the hydraulic fan though, right? That's the no, JZX. that's the JDM stuff. Okay. Has a like rad top hats over here, dude. Yeah. Um, this that's one cool. has the glass headlights, Ooh. so she made me get those for her because she's like, I like those. And I'm like, they have chrome behind them because like oh, I the see. other ones are like dark gray. And I. Dude, just Snorkel. Yeah, all star. Even like this ducting and everything. I love that. So, we have like plans to swap this for all the years to make it a turbo and manual, and we have the parts, and it just never happened. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> you guys are pretty busy. It just never happened. I don't know when it will happen, but it might happen. You know. This was a, a cabinet shop, like, and this was, was a like sanding booth. Or, I think like, they would spray like the. Oh my god! I just peeked in here. And let me tell you how many 2Js are in here. 
There's some God. DJs in here. Oh my God, go for it. <laughs> so I thought, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, this is a good thing, thing for this, though. Yeah, but I'll just probably assemble engines. Damn, it's way cooler in here. And then these are like all the above engines. Some are just cores that I got that are NAs. Some are, like this is a stroker. This one did 2019 season. It's just kind of retired, ready to go. This so, one did last season. The head's off because we were sending it back to GSC. They want to. We finally got a perfect year with no engine issues on the head, which is I never blew up anything on the bottom end, but I always have like valves like sink in and I lose lash or you blow up a right. bucket or You're something happens in the head. Them. Yeah, nothing happened on this one ever. And he's like, what the heck? And I'm like, Pull it's it apart. <laughs> yeah, he's like, take it off and send it to me. I'm like, dude, it's perfect. He's like, just do it. We so, gotta know, right? So he wants to know why it worked better with like these higher spring rates that we decided to do. It should have been worse, no? But I think it's the float. The that, speed of it. Like, and it's floating. Now it's it one, doesn't do that. Now it can't. Because it's his, tension. Yeah, right? and that's what he, his, his guess. And his guess worked, and he wants to now analyze. I'm like, God dang it. So anyways, that's what's up with that one. That's cool. These are some just Distributor stock, motors. Yeah, stock ones, but you can use the block and stuff. These are just full JVM dropouts. Yeah, they're like they're just really expensive now. I got these years ago and I'm just kind of hoarding them forever. This is a fully built motor for the practice car. Three liter crank from BC, but the lightweight one. Oh, nice. So I should... This would be the first engine that I could just rev the shit out of, like, like go to 9,000 or something. 9, yeah. So <laughs> That's exciting. I want to put it in that car. You got to put a way bigger turbo on Yeah, it. so I just, that's more work, but I got the engine part done. So tell me about the, you make these, all right? This yeah. is your product. So like, I guess we never talked about that. So like, you guys are probably like, wait, there's no humans in the shop and you're not working on cars. We, over the years, made a bunch of like billet parts. Like, I even make like, main caps for these motors and a couple other parts and like that power steering kit and stuff and we'll sell these parts but they were basically like i designed it so i could have my engine bay in my pro car look the cleanest and then people were like what is that and i had paid a ton to like make a couple of them and then people wanted more so then i just started like, so this selling. is a motor plate or no this is no, no that's all this is just bracket. removes your stock water pump and like people were just drilling a hole right here because the water kind of enters right there. Okay. And like having an ugly aim fitting, and I'm like, why doesn't someone make like, like right between the belts like and all where that? Where the stock water pump was used to be located. So then we did a couple of 3D scan versions until we came up with this. And Got it holds it. the alternator because your stock water pump holds the alternator also. Yeah, I see. So this is basically the shape of like the stock water pump. Yeah, area. similar. And then, and then I like added and subtracted some. And this just has a like a port in there. That yeah, goes. it's like two halves that like I guess I could show you the inside of one, but like the stock water pump does the same thing. Like it's just Got like. It. And then you make this bracket for the power steering. Yeah. yeah. And a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah. I was just looking at this. It's a nice piece here. I was just like trying to like nicely. simplify it for like the guys that are racing. Because like stock, it'll take water from up here, put it back into the housing of the water pump and by your thermostat, which would be housed right here, and kind of like recirculate hot water from the head in there. Right. But like race cars, you don't need that. And so. Yeah, so like on my JZ, I had to like come off and I like built like a swirl pot that right like sat yeah. right here. So that will like always have, yeah, that's like ideal. So you, I just don't do that. Right, because you run a tank. Though. I run a tank and I take back. water from the back of the head, but like it, it would probably like easier to bleed the way you had it and it probably work like. Well, Mine was just really as good, but it though. would be like quick, you know, like yeah, to like yeah. leave the system and we're good. So and this. This is like the Please most... Please don't say you capped up. No oh, way! <laughs> I yell at people. That's what I was saying. They're like, this is the reason why every Jay-Z overheats yeah, ever. Yeah, don't do Because that, it but... gets hot and it just keeps traveling forward and it can never escape. Yeah. Like, so you have to run this either to your can or like the top of the hot side of the radiator. Or somewhere where or it's going to get the system and then Dude, it gets the ball. Everybody out. blocks those. Ryan Turk had his pro car blocked. And I'm like, what? He's like, like, it's working. I'm like, I guess how? so. That would never work. In yeah. my car, it would be overheated and blown up. It, it would blow up. It, it would just probably, overheat. Yeah, it would 
they'll just these don't ever really blow up. They'll just warp the <laughs> head gasket and stuff. Yeah. Dang, nice. Yeah. This, this is a whole other super in there, dude. Yes, yeah. Dang. But that's years of hoarding. Yeah, no, I get it. You have your hoarding. I've started pile. doing the same thing with the BMW stuff because I'm like, ah, I'm kind of married to it. Yeah. And like, I'm always gonna need it. So, so like, you find I, it, when like, I find it for yeah, a good deal, it, you yeah. just buy it. But then, like, when you want to move, yeah, that, and you want to do things, it I becomes had such a headache. Four other non-turbo ones that I was just like had to get rid of. Like, there was so many things that just got left oh, when yeah. I moved. But I'm like, ah, I'll be okay. Yeah, he'll be all right. So like up there, uh, they might think it's funny, but we could look. I have like 20 dips for a. Uh, SCR Supra, the NA ones, because I have like four of each diff, like ratio. Ratio. Because you're going to break them in drifting. Well, and those are still affordable. They're not, they they started to go up more. But How much are they now? You, they're probably like 350 Okay. That's affordable for a But day. if you, you, like from John or whatever, right. you're getting them on a path, like, and so John is out now. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, we need this ratio, and I would get like four That's, of each one from John. <laughs> dude, like literally, Chelsea, when she stopped, she was a barber for a long time. When she stopped doing that, I was like, cool, I'm gonna give you something to do every Monday. And she's oh, like, what she do you mean? Search. She would call every yard, call every everything, and buy every ZF. Cause like, buy it, every dip, they're buy gone every. Now. They're gone. I have I one have spare. all of them. <laughs> I have one. So I have the one in the car, and I got one spare from John, and I was like, I think I need another spare. He's like, we don't We're have any more. He's like, Chelsea kind of went ham on him for like a couple months there. I'm like, really? I got you if you need one. <laughs> no, I, they don't break. I have a container it's full of them. It's good to go, so. I don't think I'll need it. <laughs> I have, dude. We've been collecting them, but like, they're eight hundred to a thousand dollars now. Huh. That's. But that's lot. still they were three, cheap. They were three fifty when. But I was that's still cheap compared. Kinda, that's the yeah. price of a W fifty eight. It's like twelve hundred bucks are now. Trash. Okay. And they're W fifty eight and an R one fifty four. Junk. So overpriced. Junk. I will. R one fifty four is okay. No. But no, no, junk. No. It's like the ZF's better. You like flooring it in second gear. You put the clutch in to go to third, it and it's go. like, huh, huh, and you're like, okay. It's like a truck. Hold on a sec. Okay, now we can go. Yeah. It's like a truck. No, like horrible. But I'm just saying, like, they'll hold some <laughs> okay, power, yeah, though. Hold they're some okay, power, but yeah. they're junk. They're bad. And now everybody, like the CD09 thing, everybody was doing those, and I'm like, they're not even good gearboxes. They are good. I don't like the way they shift. Yeah, same. That's crazy, though. Yeah, like when you see it, Toyota people have been ahead of this for a long time. Like everyone I know in the Toyota game has been stacking parts and oh. like making it hard for to other get, people to get uh, them. Because even like the Corolla game, bro. Are when they I need a, like that? when I need a brake <laughs> caliper, a yeah. rear brake caliper, I'm like, hey man, can I buy that? You have it listed like in your part out. He's like, mm, what do you got to trade? I'm like, oh. I'll just give you money. How much money do you want for? He's like, I don't want to sell it. I'm like, you have a bin full of them. He's like. Like, I, I need this. You got this? You got, I'm like, I only have one car. Yeah, like, you're like no. So then all the parts just stay within the people that have the parts. I'm and sorry, you're just like, people, I I'm like, that. yeah, so like, I did, you never know, like buy a house, you write like a letter to the people selling yeah. it. You're like, this is why I would want your house. Like, yeah. Pick me, pick me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, for the brake right? caliper, I'm like, I really need this. I use the car. Here's video of me I'm driving it. Sell it. I'm like, not I'm not going to sell it. Like, and he sends me a link to a rebuild kit for oh the calipers. And God. I'm like, dude, you're killing me. Come on, give uh, me a brake caliper. Why'd you even post them? Oh, that's weird that he posted it oh, though. Dude. Well, they were like in the corner of a photo, oh, okay. but he I've, was selling other the parts. The same thing that happened to you has happened to me and I'm on the end of the guy and I'm like, I don't want to sell that. Right, like, I've had that too. You, uh, but like, and I'm like, no, there's no, no right. and no. So I've been at the track so I feel bad. and like dudes are like, I broke my ZF and I'm competing or whatever. I'm like, I get you a ZF, I got you. Damn. But, but like but when people you're... hit me up yeah. and they're like, oh, like so-and-so said you had a ZF, like I'm looking to do this, this. I'm like, mm, I don't have any for sale. <laughs> Cause I'm like, <laughs> That dude needs that yeah, to do don't what he's sell it because you'll because later need it. you're gonna need I'll it. Need That's it. why you have it. I know it's crazy. Yeah, let's go check out your parts. So you make a ton of parts too, right? Yeah. So here's one of the aisles. With, let's show some bill of parts. Um, this is the handbrake we made. Um, I had always wanted one that like contours your hand perfectly, and then Renee took a pistol off of like I don't know even know what model pistol like, but something off the internet and then 
made this on the computer and then we sent the idea to our machinist and he's like oh hell no that's gonna be so hard to make but like hold it like the the feeling your hand oh, it's yeah, like it's very it's a good like the ergonomics feeling. are really yeah. good and he's like that is not gonna be easy to build i'm like okay so it's like, nice you, though too you can't if you do miss. it and he's like i didn't say that and then he just he finally did it and it's like it's Sick. cool and yeah it, if you miss too it's okay yeah like some of the ones there's no sharpness anyway, yeah it's and good. it's not like floppy That's like cool. where it's gonna bend when you're holding it That's and it cool. just utilizes the willwood base and yeah. then you could put a willwood master or if you're against willwood masters and you want a tilton master it'll build like bolt right up Got it's it. fine oh. so that's one cool part but then the other parts are going to be like around a jay-z engine well not all of them but lots of them so a problem you'll run into when you're doing a single turbo on a jay-z is that the thermostat like this will bolt to the thermostat housing on the water pump and it will typically a stock one would point outward and your turbo sitting up here the the block is right here so this is like a rotated version and there was a company or a couple that made a rotator that you'd bolt on then you'd bolt your stock one back on oh like a reclock yeah thing. and Got so this it. will reclock it all in one thing and bolt on stock and take you down below the alternators like right here and then you can just put your hose on it and it has a little edge there or you put um, oh snap a, I didn't like see that a dash 16 ORB that threads in there and you could go to a 16 16 or a 16 20. up to 20 yeah so, so that's just after building cars long enough you're like why don't they do this and no one did so then we finally made that right um, if you're like a stock jay-z guy or stock water pump jay-z guy this would bolt to your head looks pretty cool looks nice you can if you wanted you could still run a rubber hose but you'd have to get the like union that had oh, right. for, like the rubber adapter or you just do 16 to 16 16 to 20 same thing Got it. and then is this in the same location pretty much yeah so you could just put a bar band on you it, could yeah. put a bar band but the other one kind of churned the corner but there's hoses that you could probably adapt Got this it. is where it recirculates back into the water pump okay and for a while i didn't have the other upper water neck you were like looking at and so i would sell like this other piece that goes with it well it's the anodized black one because we sell them all yeah. it. but it would like block that off if you uh. had like a race car and you didn't run a stock water pump and so and that but this is just hard to make because it's multiple yeah, pieces yeah i was looking at that it's and like, it's not cheap and we're like people they would just buy it anyway but i'm like why don't we make one that's like it just goes right to just, the race yeah, car so thing. it's like then we made the race car one yeah, it's simple sweet. still has three ports in the bottom nice. so you can have you can plug them all or you can have different temp sensors and or like if you want to recirculate water coming oh, back, back in there from your it. turbo to like head back home to the radiator nice. like back yeah. home to the radiator yeah um, I like that. and then this one the delete this fill. was the first billet part we ever made and it took a while to do because I had my buddy 3d printed a bunch of times so this is probably my favorite one um, that's kind of like the water pump delete thing yeah, that holds really the nice. alternator and you kind of see how the water heads in there like oh that's what i was curious about yeah. like how it channeled in there yeah that's cool and is there like a, a gasket here or there's an o-ring the so okay. everything that we did was o-ring so it could be more like a Reusable. modern setup yep. yeah you could reuse it Copy. um then like some other cool things like a timing belt tensioner bracket mm. we made those because that's a fail point on a jay-z because they're spring normally or they're hydraulic they're right? hydraulic this would still use that but what happens is like this housing like where the bill this one's all billet would be cast normally and people were like severing oh, them because like them. i guess i never had this happen but i guess it'd be like you're on limiter or maybe you do a money shift and it takes you way up higher than you're supposed to and it will just break that. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got more things to worry about yeah. at that point. Because um, the, the Jay-Z is not interference, right? It is on the turbo, but a non-turbo is Oh, it is interference. interference. Okay. Um, that? This is um, uh, an adapter for, like, you go from a GTE upper, which is the one that comes out, like, parallel with the block, versus a GE top, low, thing. like, upper would go up and over. So you take the GE lower, you bolt this to it, and it's O-ring both sides. Um, and then you bolt the GT upper to it and it might clean up your bay a little bit. That's what my Lexus had on it. 
It's um, rid of the RB problem. Yeah. The over the top cross thing. There's other parts we make. You just go to, like, these are the cool ones. You don't want to waste your time. <laughs> go to the website and you can check out all the parts, radindustries.com. This is just cool to me because it's like, these are like, Sure, they're just Jay Z parts, whatever, but they're like derived from like drifting motorsports. It's, so, like, yeah. a lot of that stuff that, like, with road racing and other s motorsports in the past, it never could trickle down to the people, right? And what's cool Probably about not. drifting is like most of the engines used in drifting are something that every they came in tons of cars. Yeah. So, like, you could literally buy Formula Drift, whatever part, and put it on your car. So, that's why I was saying it's kind of cool we should look at these parts because, like, this is stuff that's like evolved like a lot of drag race dudes a lot of other dudes probably wouldn't have evolved this because they're not worried about cooling stuff all the time and they don't and know that like it doesn't matter their head could be blocked yeah, off and it wouldn't even matter they, their car might be like on some other level that's like a little bit different more like special just for their but like these will go on a, they could go on a street car yeah, like, yeah for sure and it looks nice yeah and you like feel like you have a part of motorsports like on your it's, car that's cool. true it's pretty cool yeah. i it just kind of happened for like the race car that I drive and I wanted it to be better and then it like you're like oh we can make money with it too okay do it <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah. yeah I mean obviously like you spend the time and effort R&Ding it to run it for your own program right and then you're like my program's really expensive <laughs> it would be helpful to just sell these that we already make yeah you know so, so that's cool it just worked out yeah that it's really way. cool so there's like we could look at more stuff. Um, we have like a lot of other products too. I like, have other products that are like that are just Jay Z related, really right? For other people. Um, one thing, this is something like car builders. You guys have ran into this situation. Like so, you need like a bracket mounted somewhere or a cooler, like intercooler or whatever. I saw these on your car. So this is and like nothing against like other companies, but I feel like. People were outsourcing metal stuff to China, and then you're getting this is a steel weld on bond that's an M8. I make them an M6, M8. So this would go to like, I don't know, your roll cage or something where you need to mount a bracket that you, I don't know, you didn't want to put like a tab on there, but you wanted it threaded. And then this is a cup. Instead of taking like a piece of pipe, cutting it to like a half inch thick, and then welding, welding a washer that on there, which if like it just takes time and i sell these for 450 or 350 each i think so like yeah it's cheaper it saves your time and then if you want aluminum we make the aluminum bongs we don't make aluminum cups really because like you're not doing you that yeah, yeah. yeah but this helps to like the fab guy that's building a bunch of like mounting all the coolers yeah, I and feel brackets like, and yeah stuff. intercooler brackets or like stuff the like coolant that. tank that, like, brackets you've already built like you've done this made your own version of that but then if you're like ah, i can save time so we just sell those and we I sell know, i always get like, like a piece of tube and then a nut that already has oh, a back too, washer yeah, so then it's and a i thread. stick it in there and it's already beveled yeah because it's already like that i've done that but you gotta much. scrape the coating off of it and stuff but that's what i always use i did the same a bunch but of, that's nice know just over the so years simple. like trying to simplify things or find another product to sell sick and then yeah jay-z related like maintenance stuff and then winter stuff and KRC stuff. KRC stuff and all that yeah sick just stuff like that that you can't drop ship we'll house it here otherwise we'll sell you like radium or other stuff like that we'll just get yeah. drop ship i've had really good luck with all the radium stuff i like their stuff i a lot. love radium plus stuff. like jp and the dudes over there are they're really good cool. people yeah, yeah for sure Sweet. Let's uh, check out the office real quick. All right. And, yeah. uh, I think that's probably. That's, I don't know. It's your shop. We're getting there's towards like, the end. This room here has a, all of Renee's vinyl stuff. Okay. It's just a like a plot room full of stuff. vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Then in here you're gonna see dogs. Vicious dogs. Vicious dogs. Super Hello. vicious dogs. Hello. Hello. You're a maniac. Hi. And then there's a Chelsea and a Renee in here. Hello. She's the one who keeps everything looking good in the shop. Yeah. All the cars, the design. So I work for Renee, and <laughs> um, yeah. that's her office. Yeah. Here, this is my office. Owner, we, operator, we, driver, yeah. mechanic. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, um, like to call it she'll make the better decisions than I will, and then <laughs> I'm just here. Um, we used to share an office, so it's cool when we moved to this building, we each get our own office, and then there's the sim and break room in here. And like, we haven't put like much time into setting the shop up. I guess Man, like personalizing it. It's kind of just like, 
these are the colors of everything and the Well, you've been busy moving. We just, yeah. We can't complain about this when you don't even have a lift in your shop yet. Yeah. Well, so it's good. One day we'll have three lifts. That's all we need. <laughs> this uh, is a sick setup. It's pretty good. Um, I have very few hours on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. I, like, cannot get... I, I'll get into it and, like, for, like three days and I'll get like good again and I'll like go on discord and play with like a couple other guys that are all into it all the time and then oh. it'll just yeah, yeah. Scottish. <laughs> I just I don't know I like real life more than well that's stuff. the thing I, I tell people this life. all the time like I have the opportunity to drive and drift like every week yeah so like I don't need to do this I feel really bad saying that because it sounds like really really like elitist <laughs> but like I've just lived my whole life to do it for real yeah so I have opportunities to do it for real but like when I drive on the same big screen setup I'm okay with but like if I drive VR I am so sick it oh, lasts about I, like five minutes yeah, and like it the, feels like the heat is on in the room yeah and, the heat, oh, as soon as these come on it's sick. like you could be in 30 degree weather and you'll sweat and then <laughs> that's called like, nausea you probably I can get so it's like easier to drive with those in a sense, but I'm literally like fighting sickness, but I'm like, this is so cool. And it then is like, cool. I got to stop. And then I get off and I'm just like, Ugh. for like and two hours, I feel like, like crap. five hours. <laughs> I, I, yeah, Same. it's bad. I agree. So like, I agree. That's cool. Very well, few real hours a cool one, but very few hours on them. But like, it's the same thing. Like, you can jump in this and drive and have fun with very little amount of effort. Yeah. Very little amount of time. Whereas like Not all of those cars the out there, for every minute that you drive them is ten hours in the shop. And like, let's say it costs you what this cost a lot to get. Like, this is a nice one, like you said. But now I could like for free drift yeah. every time. But I still don't do it because I prefer to yeah drive for the real, real thing. But yeah. One day I'll get more out. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's a wrap. Thanks yeah. for letting us tour the shop, dude. See you guys.